Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from the link given in the description, and also you can download the After Effects template, for free, from my web store, link is given in the description. Now let's see how to create glitch logo reveal. Create a new composition. Name it as logo reveal. Set width and height to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame rate to 30 frames per second. Set time duration to 6 seconds. Now we will create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. In effects and preset. Search for gradient tramp, add it to the solid layer. Here you can set color of your choice for the background. Perfect. For this background layer, in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to background layer. Here change output width to 200, and output height to 200. Select mirror edges. Now from project panel, drag and drop the dust media file to timeline. For this media file, we will change the mode of dust file to screen. Now add glitch line media file to the timeline. Pre-compose it. Name it as glitch lines. Now add glitch noise media file to timeline. Pre-compose it. Name it as Glitch Noise. Now let's hide both media files. Let's add the logo to the timeline. You need to scale your logo if needed. Let's pre-compose the logo layer. Name it as Logo. Select Move All Attribute into the new composition. For Logo Composition. In effects and preset. Search for Vegas. Add it to logo composition. For Vegas, in image contours, change input layer to logo. Change threshold to 65. Change tolerance to 0. Now in segments, we need to change segments to 1. Now at start, we will create keyframe for length. Change the length to 0. Add 1 second. Change the length to 1. Now add 2 seconds. Change the length to 0 0.5. Add 3 seconds. Change the length to 1. At start, create keyframe for rotation. At 3 seconds. Change rotation to 1. Perfect. In rendering. Change blend mode to stencil. To increase the stroke. Change width to 10. Perfect. Here you can keep this composition layer as it is, or you can trim the layer at 2 seconds and 15 frames. Now from project panel, add a logo composition to the timeline. 
Also trim this composition at 2 seconds and 15 frames. For this logo composition, press T to bring up the opacity. Here we will create a blinking or flashing effect for our logo composition. Here we will create opacity keyframes. Here you are free to create opacity keyframe wherever you want. Create keyframe, set opacity to 0%. Now move one frame forward, change opacity to 50%. Now move one frame forward, change opacity to 0%. You can see the effect. Similarly, we need to create more keyframes to create this effect for our logo composition. Here I have created all the keyframes. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. We need to trim this layer at 2 seconds and 15 frames. Let's rename it to map 1. Now in effects and preset, search for displacement map, add it to map 1 layer. Here we will change displacement layer to glitch noise, change horizontal and vertical displacement to luminance, change max horizontal value to 0, max vertical value to 30. Now let's create duplicate of this layer. For map 2, change map layer to glitch lines. Change max horizontal value to 10. Change vertical displacement to off. Change max vertical value to 0. Now create a new adjustment layer. Let's name it as mosaic 1. We will trim the layer at 10 frames. Perfect. Now for this layer, in effects and preset, search for mosaic. Add it to mosaic 1 layer. Set horizontal block to 160. Vertical block to 90. Select shape colors. We will place this layer at start of 10 frames. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this layer. For mosaic 2, we will change the vertical blocks to 250. Now at start of the layer, create keyframe for horizontal blocks. Change it to 50. Now move one frame forward. Change it to 5. Now move 2 to 3 frames forward. Change blocks to 50. Move one frame forward. Change block to 5. Move one frame forward. Change block to 50. Move three frames forward. Change block to 150. You can see the position of the keyframes, and preview. Now for mosaic 2, in effects and preset, search for transform. Add it to mosaic layer. 
Here we will create scale keyframes, at start of the layer, or one frame forward from start. Create keyframe for scale. Move two frames forward. Change scale to 150. Move two frames forward. Change scale to 175. Move two frames forward. Change scale to 100. Move two frames forward. Change scale to 120. Perfect. You can see the effect. You can adjust the position of this layer according to your choice to get some different effect. Here I will place it at 1 second and 5 frames. Now let's create duplicate of mosaic 2. Place it at 2 seconds. Extend the layer to 15 frames. For mosaic 3, we will remove this transform effect. For Mosaic 3, in Effects and Preset, search for CC Ball Action. Add it to Mosaic 3 layer. For CC Ball, change Grid Spacing to 8. Ball Size to 60. You can see the preview. Now let's create another adjustment layer. Name it as CC Ball. Let's trim it at 10 frames. Now add the CC Ball action to layer. Change grid spacing to 3. Change ball size to 60. Place this layer at 20 frames. Now in effects and preset, search for motion tile. But first let's create a new adjustment layer. Name it as CC Scale. Let's trim it at 5 frames. For this layer, add the motion tile effects. Set output width and height to 200. For scale layer. In Effects and Preset, search for CC Scale Wipe. Add it to Scale Layer. At Start, create keyframe for Stretch. Set Stretch Value to 8. At 5 frames, change Stretch to 20. Let's change Direction to 90. Now at Start, create keyframe for Center. Move 2 to 3 frames forward. Now slightly change the position of center. Now at 5 frames, change center to center. You can see the effect. Let's create 4 duplicates of this layer. Now adjust the position of this scale layer as shown. Let's again create a duplicate. Place it at end. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now to create the end logo reveal, from the project panel, let's add the logo composition to timeline. Position it at 2 seconds and 15 frames. For logo composition, press T to bring up opacity. Create keyframe and change opacity to 0. At 3 seconds, change opacity to 100%. Place it below the adjustment layer. 
Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.